So today we're going to have a look at the external locker doors on a motorhome and specifically the catchers that are designed to hold these doors open. They're only made out of soft plastic so they have a limited lifespan and I'd give it two years at best until the first time that locker door falls down and hits you on the head. These plastic latches on an auto trail are riveted in place in a pretty permanent way and what they use is uh, peel back rivets so these go in and when you tighten the rivet they peel back like a banana skin and it forms a pretty tough thing to get out so as with most rivets you've got to drill them out pretty scary thing with your motorhome your pride and joy but they've got to be drilled out in order to replace the catchers the trick is then you don't want to put another rivet in because you might have to change them again before you finish with this thing so I've looked for a better solution to hold these latches in place and what I've come up with is well nuts. Now these are designed for uh, boats predominantly I think and they're also known to the motorcycle trade for holding fairings together. And basically it's like a, um, it's a bit like a rivet nut but it's made out of soft rubber instead of metal so it's a less industrial means of doing it. So we're now going to drill out these. Uh, so we're now going to drill out these old rivets. That's the old catch off. We'll find some uh, mastic in here to help keep the uh, water out. Then these rivets are going to take some pull in. Come on, Auto Trail, there's got to be a better solution than this. All right, we've now got to clean up the mess that's been left behind. And then we're going to widen out these holes with an 8mm drill to take the well nuts. Now, we don't want to go too deep on these, so nice and easy does it. They really didn't take much um, widening out. So you can see the well nuts there. Fit in nice and snugly. And here's your new catchers. Easily obtained on eBay. A couple of pound a pair. So you've got your male and your female. And the female is going on here. And the beauty of doing it this way is that when these wear out in another year or two and the locker doors start falling on your head again, you can simply unbolt them and put a new pair on. Why don't the manufacturers think of that, eh? Not rocket science, is it? So as we tighten these screws down what's happening is on the inside the nut is being drawn towards the top and the rubber body is squashing to form like a rivet effect on the inside of that skin and the beauty of them being rubber of course is that helps with uh, preventing water ingress so now we've done the female part on the body of the motorhome the male part 
is on the locker door that still needs to be done but when you've replaced that as well then because you've used the original holes these should line up beautifully and click into place like that and hopefully this time the locker door is not going to fall on your head when you go rooting in there for something.